Shalom and welcome to this special PowerPoint on the security of wisdom. The wisdom of God is available to all people and one of the things that is good is that all people it you know, they can understand it at certain levels. My experience with it, those of high IQ, low IQ, it doesn't really matter. It's those who have a heart open. In fact, sometimes people with real high IQs and are really smart have difficulty with the wisdom of God because their carnal nature is so strong it wars against that spirit nature. So I want to encourage you, whether you're super smart or not so smart, that you are smart because God creates no junk. I mean, I may be talking to a handicapped person and uh, you may be having, you have some challenges that come into your natural body, but you know that you can take, as a handicapped person, uh, you can take uh, with special needs, you, could t you can take the Word of God and it's still as, as effective with you as if you weren't having that special need because the Word of God overcomes every difficulty and everybody really... In my opinion, everyone has a special need. Not, there's not really whole people. There's, everyone fights battles. And so that's what I like about the Word of God, and that's what I like about the wisdom of God, is it supersedes all those, those roadblocks that man tries to put up and say, oh, you've got uh, you know, ADD, or you, you've got this or that. You know? No, the Word of God can go right past all those things and still perform and manifest the blessings of God regardless of the vessel. As long as the vessel says, I'm willing and I'm able to say yes, Lord, and amen to the wisdom of God. So we're going to go into Psalms, uh, I mean, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 2, and it says, For I give you good doctrine, do not forsake my law. So, you know, this, this is a huge thing. I don't know if it's just in my life with my call as a Jewish believer and Messianic rabbi, but the law is my friend. I mean, I wasn't raised in the spirit like, oh, don't put me under the law, legalism. The d legalism is a spirit. But the law actually translates out in Hebrew instruction. So what, what they're saying here in the psalm, I mean, the proverb, sorry, the proverb is saying here, the wisdom is just to understand the instruction. Your identity and your uh, uh, blessings are not in the instruction, but in the understanding of the instruction. And why is that? Quite simple. God only functions through his instruction. God never breaks his own law. He never breaks his own principles. The nature of God is he stays within his own boundaries because God is not a man that he should lie. So my prayer for us today is this. If you'd pray with me, Father God, in the name of Yeshua, help me have a healthy mental understanding and conception of the law. That, Father God, I'm not under the law, but the law is my love letter from the Lord to teach me his ways. God created me. God created the law. And the more I know about it, the more prosperous I will be. Lord, release your understanding into my life that I might believe and hear your voice and receive your instruction, which is the law. And that, Lord, I would become wiser for it and more blessed. In Yeshua's name, I'll see you tomorrow.